Welcome back YouTube. We have a special Sunday video. Uh, we got a new camera. Well, she got a new camera. <laughs> and we're, we're testing out, we're playing with it because it's, uh, it's an Icon D5100. So it takes photos and it also takes videos. And uh, so we're going to play with it around a little bit, do a video right now. And it's a has been requested. So I will go ahead and say that this one we will dedicate to Sarah. Because <laughs> she has asked for this a couple of times. So we're going to go ahead and uh, now that we have the chance to do it on a Sunday. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and, and do it. So uh, I'm going to show some of the 8x10, some of the photos that we've gotten at, a, at certain shows from wrestlers as they sign and make a couple bucks. And uh, some of the mats that I've gotten on some of the uh, older stuff before I even got into collecting again. Some of the older ones I used to get. Um, I'll go into some of the more stories whenever we get to them. So we'll go ahead and start off with the uh, package that we got from TNA. Uh, they had a package, it was a few months back, and it had a guaranteed... Kurt Angle, a guaranteed Mr. Anderson, and a guaranteed Mickey James, which all three of those people would really like. So uh, we went ahead and got it, and we got some really cool extra ones too. So um, we'll start with AJ Styles, a good one. I hope this camera's. We're hoping that it comes out a little bit more clear. So you guys let us know compared to the other ones. You know I hold the card up and you can't see it for crap. So um, Jeff Jarrett. We were also happy to uh, to get that AJ Styles because before we got that we didn't have an auto at all and then we pulled him out of 2008 Impact. Jeff Jarrett we also have on a signature Impact card um, that we pulled. Actually numbered one out of 99 I think. So. Mick James, one of the reasons that we got the uh, the whole package in the first place. Great auto. And we were stoked too because we almost saw her at a show. We, we saw ODB instead. We saw ODB nice. instead which was awesome. Mr. Anderson right here. Anderson. <laughs> like him. Also got a, a TTM from him. Other than that, we didn't have an audit from him at all. So Max Buck, no longer with him, doing ROH thing and doing pretty good in ROH from what I hear. Don't watch it a whole lot. The last time I watched ROH, it was one match for the entire hours, which was weird. And Jeremy Buck. It's cool to have both of them. Well, you're happy about that. Yeah. Because I know sometimes you can get them too and they have them both on the same one. Like, uh, who was it that somebody just got it? Two of the packages in. I know Tissy Valley got two of them and somebody else got one of them in. Alex Shelley. We did not get the Chris Saban. <laughs> <laughs> we do have Chris Saban on the card though. Alex Shelley's one person that. No, we do have him on, a t on an extreme, so. Interesting, buddy. Kazarian or Kaz? Screwing AJ right now. Screwing AJ, man, that's great. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> it is. I like the heel. I'm a sucker for heels, and I like what they're doing with uh, Kazarian and the whole Christopher Daniels behind the scenes thing. They still haven't, you know, come forward and say what's going on. The only auto we have of the one and only RVD. Hoping to see this guy live. Would love to see him live. Yeah. Been watching him since ECW days. He's fantastic in the ring. Just. Great, great dude. He was on the first show we watched together. Yes, he was. I will always remember that. Oh, him yes, and the Abyss. This, uh, this is the Mickey James blank, as you can see. Uh -huh. We did that not get that one signed. We did not. That's what we, we picked it up for, for pretty cheap when we wanted to get it signed at the show. Like we said, it, oh, there you go. But yes, RVD was on the very first show that uh, we ever watched together as TNA as I was dragging my wife into the uh, <laughs> soap opera that is professional wrestling. Um, this is a cool one. I really like him. This is Charlie Dreamer. <gasps> oh, a local God. guy uh, around here in the uh, on the East Coast. Uh, he wrestles in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia quite a bit, and Virginia. The signature but, is right there. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's kind of hard to see. Um, but he is excellent, like, in the ring. I mean, a great, great dude. I would love to see him come to TNA or ROH, but um, I don't think it's going to happen. But he is great to see to see live. He's a wonderful one. And watch some of his old videos. He just, he's, some guys got it, and he's one of the guys that, that has it. And there's a, a little group of people um, in this area that go, that do a lot of the independent shows, and they're just freaking amazing. And he's one of them. Joey, Sil Joey Silvio is another one. That, if you know anything about the East Coast, you know some of these names, but he is freaking awesome. And a great, great guy that he signs, and you know, we, we buy it whenever we can from him. Now this is from one of the shows that we went to with first 
live show we went to together, I think. One of the uh, regional shows we Cookie, did. Cookie, where are you? <laughs> one of the regional shows here um, called Operation Save Foundation. And uh, she was there, ODB was there, and Robbie E was there, and the big ticket guy was Jeff Hardy. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those charity shows, I believe, for diabetes, children with diabetes, and it was just awesome. A, a guy named Rodney Norris puts it on every year, and he always gets big names to come. It's just, it's a lot of work goes into putting it, uh, goes into that show. And actually, they're thinking about having it here in our home city. Um, next time actually in April so that, that would be great because it was a little over an hour drive I think which was way worth it but uh, it would be nice to have it here. Just sucks to get a babysitter. Yes it does. Um, I think that's all the ones we had from that show. Mm -hmm. now, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into uh, yeah these are all from these are all from the last show that we went to actually and it was just another uh, local show about 45 minutes away in Elizabethtown North Carolina and uh, I, I don't think one person I really wanted to get to that show we didn't we ended up not getting, but I'll go go through who was there. Luke Gallows, Festus, if you will, took Sanjay Dutt's place, uh, wrestling with uh, Jimmy Rave. But, he uh, signed all over that one. <laughs> he did. He was crazy with it. He was cool dude. They put on a good match. Uh, Sanjay Dutt's one of the people I, I I really wanted to see though. I know he's one of the hardest working people. In, it was one of the hardest working people in TNA. And he does do a lot um, in, in the area also, doing independent stuff. And him and Jimmy still team up quite a bit, uh, from what I hear. So, Ivan Koloff was another one. Him, oh man, he's a legend. If you don't know who he is, he used to wrestle with uh, Nikolai Volkov. And just a great, great wrestler. Great classic, classic guy. He's really nice, too. He was. Really, really nice. So getting up there in age, uh, you know, which is sad to see from some of the older classic guys, but to have a chance to get to meet them and shake their hand and watch them. He actually still got in the ring. I mean, he could, like, barely walk, but he still got up for everybody that went to the line and stood up and uh, took pictures with them and shook their hands and stuff, man. Just these older guys, man, they're great. Love, I love seeing them, especially locally, because that's the time you actually get to, you know, hang out with them. Ricky Morton. Rock and Roll Express. Now, this was funny because when we first got there, we took like, an, it was like over an hour drive for us. And uh, and my wife really had to go to the bathroom. So oh my God, I had to pee so bad. <laughs> she had to go really, really bad. So we were around the, uh, the, the, there was already a line of people at the back entrance to this uh, the gym where they were having that fitness center. And uh, so we were around the front trying to use the bathroom and we ran into Ricky Morton who actually let us in uh, the front door. And uh, so she could use the bathroom, which was really cool. And then later on, of course, we met him, joked around with him. I still had no idea it was him either. Yeah, he was cool, man. I was like, what do you mean the guy who let me in to go to the bathroom was a wrestler? <laughs> classic, classic wrestler that definitely carried that team there. Uh, but anyways, great, great success. Loved it. Good time there. Uh, this is one guy, that, another guy, classic, that wrestles around in the area in Mid-Atlantic. And that is Mr. Number One, George South. Man, this guy has done so much for wrestling behind the scenes, developing talent. Um, I know he's really, really proud now to be working with uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's son. So uh, he's really proud about that. But ha he runs a school not too far away from here that's, that's one of the best schools, along with another guy I'm about to show you. But uh, yeah, classic, classic dude. He still gets up there and puts on a show and gets it on in the ring. And I'll tell you what, he, he, he works hard. It's good to see. Uh, oh, this guy surprised us. We didn't see him a whole lot. Of course, we didn't see him whenever he was in WWE, um, and then we didn't see him a whole lot in TNA. Um, I recognized him, but Kid Cash. Man, this guy was awesome. <laughs> awesome in the ring. I've never seen a wrestler at a house show, and I've been to a few. I've never seen a wrestler in a house show almost slap an old lady before, but Kid Cash almost did it. It was freaking amazing. She deserved it too. Yeah, but the heat that he generates from the crowd, just walking from the back <laughs> to the ring is amazing. And I think anybody who, who can do that is, is just a talent beyond belief, and he's one of the guys that did it. And, uh, you know, even in the ring getting booze and stuff. Was that he the one who almost... Killed a kid? Yes, uh, yeah, so a after the match, you know, he had, uh, he, he lost that match, and he went to the back, and they were playing the other guy's music, 
and some people were dancing like in the or outside the ring, and his opponent brought him into the ring, and uh, and he was dancing. Well, Kid Cash came back out after that and got in the ring and almost hit this kid with a chair and the kid ran and he picked the kid up and tossed him halfway across the ring. Now you would say, okay, no big deal. We'll say, you know, this kid was shaking afterwards. <laughs> he was so scared. It was not supposed to happen. This like, kid I, was like 16, 17 years Yeah, old. he was 16, 17 years having a joke and it was actually, he wrestled Jerry Lennon, so he would wrestle Jerry him next. But uh, so he was out, he was, that kid was dancing. And, uh, and, and he got into the ring, and Kikesh did not like that at all, and he picked the kid up and threw him halfway across the ring. Now, I know wrestling is fake, guys, okay, I know it, I've been watching it since I was a little kid, I meet the wrestlers, I talk to them, I write letters to them, you guys know that. This kid was shaking afterwards, like visibly shaking. This was a house show that maybe had like 50 or 60 people tops in it, and he was shaking afterwards. It was hilarious, I loved it. He should have gotten out as soon as he told him to get out of the he ring. Should, he should have. I mean, you don't just walk into a ring like that and then make fun of, you know, wrestlers and dancing to their music and joking around with them. I mean, I don't know if he was taking it serious or if he was just, you know, playing his character as a heel, but he threw that kid across the ring. It didn't land nicely. <laughs> and then he was shaking afterwards scared. Like, that kid did not come even five feet close to the ring after that. And we were all really close to the ring. Okay, so anyway, another guy, Jerry Lynn. Man, this dude was awesome to me. Actually sat and talked to him with him uh, for a little bit. Old ECW guy. And uh, he wrestled Kick Cash, and it was one of the best matches of that night. And it was freaking great. So, uh, one of the most memorable matches of that night, for sure, was him and Kick Cash. Great. Great guy. Alright, um, and then the last one we have from that show. Jim Boogie Woogie Man Valiant. Man, this is one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. You know, um, legend in the business register for, uh, for Vince and WWF for a while, and is still doing the kind of independent thing now. As you can see, he has a wrestling camp pretty close to here where we live, and, uh, and promotes a lot of shows, and he was so awesome. And his wife wasn't there, but um, he, we actually ended up buying a, a book. Um, that she had written a children's book that was really, really cool, and it's signed by her. Um, and we read it to my daughter sometimes at night whenever she chooses that one to read. And it's a cool book, so um, it was nice to sit and talk to, to him about that. And uh, I actually had a shirt that I wore, a uh, Jim Boogie Winter Valley Wrestling Camp shirt, and he commented on that shirt, too. Uh, somebody gave me that. It's kind of funny that he was at that show and said something about it. So anyways, really, really cool. I liked it. Good dude. A lot skinnier than he used to be, as you go back and watch those. Okay, so here's some of the mats uh, that I've gotten over the years. Now, in Oklahoma, uh, they have a crazy way of selling tickets. The day that the tickets go on sale, you can do the phone thing and buy them, or you can wait in line. And the line was usually wrapped all the way around this building, all the way down the sidewalk, and then turned the corner and wrapped all the way down. Now, I used to camp out for hours and hang out and talk. And at these things, they also had people that were there that would uh, sign autographs. Uh, that's how I met Jim Ross, Shawn Michaels, and Tori Wilson, with only three people. But um, I actually met Jim Ross several times doing this. So the day of the people that were out there, you could actually go through the line before you bought your ticket, and you could uh, get autographs signed uh, by these people. And it was it was stupid the way they did it because what happened is you get a ticket, and and you know everybody in line got a ticket. And then they put your other ticket into a, a raffle and they drew it. And whoever number they drew, that was the number one person in line. So everybody in front of that person got cut off and had to move to the back. So it pretty much screwed everybody who was camping out to get tickets. They, I guess they just think, didn't think it was fair, which is stupid. I think if you do the time, then you should get it. But what's up? No, we have five minutes left. We have five minutes left. All right, we're going to rush through these last ones. Um, okay, uh, this is one of the masks I got from Jim Ross. Now, um, there's one. There's two. And there's three. Um, and some of these, I know one of these was from a, uh, an appearance that he did at a car dealership that I went to that my dad took me to. And this was back in, like, early 2000s. This was quite a while ago, so. But one of the shows I, I have Jim Ross and Tori Wilson Matt. But uh, I believe it's upstairs. I'm, I'm gonna look at. I'm looking at getting it framed. So, and then these you've already seen here. The tribute to the shoot shows. Um, this one has. Let me look at it right quick. I'll hurry. Oh yeah, John Cena. 
Beth Phoenix, Dolph Ziggler, and Alicia Fox. And then this one has a bunch of other people. AJ Lee, uh, this Jonder John Mahal, or whatever his name is. Alicia Fox is usually back in Hornswoggle, and then Dolph Ziggler again. And then real quick on the last three, because we are running out of time. We've all seen this one before. Her fan, thanks again. But I love it. It's not leaving this little thing right here trying to find a place for it. And then we got, from that same package, a Kurt Angle. And then we've got another Kurt Angle where we got the video, great video. And that's that one. And then here's the original one that I got way back in the day. It even has a year of 2000 on it. See, you know this one's old. <laughs> Bam, my dad got that one for me one year for Christmas. Way back in the day. So, that's it, folks. Thanks, Sunday video, pretty rare. Let us know how it looks, because this new camera, that's exactly why we're doing it. So, um, thank you. Appreciate you watching. Gentle Vader out.